Okay, so let's talk about CRN, actually. I mean, it's evolved over the years, but you know, what's its focus now? What is it really looking to improve on and introduce into the market? How's it going to help us as you know, partners and channel people? Well, CRN's focus has always been the channel. Um, it's been the mouthpiece for resellers and, and VARs and, and service providers. That's, that's the main aim. Um, unlike certain other competitors that maybe pander more to their sponsors and, and um, people that spend money with them, but obviously that's where CRN is coming from. Um, and the focus is obviously off news. Um, fortunately, news is a commodity now, so mm. everyone can just get news wherever, wherever you go. Right. So it's more about the in-depth, um, doing some research, finding out what the main issues are, mm. how people are reacting to the main issues, mm. just trying to help people sort of guide them through this minefield that we're all in at the moment and yeah. what the new technology is, where they should be looking, yeah. who they should be working with. Yeah, I, I recently came to, a, there was a new forum actually, so I think that's brilliant the way CR are introducing new forums and more gatherings of different types of individuals yes. and so the European Leadership Forum uh, I thought that was brilliant there was some really credible people there and learned a lot over the two days actually um, do, you, do you know much about that one or I do it's something I've been working on actually and right? uh, working yeah. on again this year and uh, and it's it's about getting people talking mm -hmm. I think a lot of the time we spend so immersed in mm. running businesses and, and uh, focusing on the now, mm. you don't have the time to, to get together with your peers and, and have you know, in-depth conversations, find out what they're thinking, what they're doing. Mm. So that's the thought behind that, and it, mm. it definitely worked. Mm. Turn the phone off and you know, meet like-minded people, yeah. basically. Yeah. And is it, who's winning in the channel now? You know, who, what partners, what IT people, you know, what sectors? You know, who's driving the change? Oh, this, it, so many are. I mean, you've got obviously the top 100, as it, as it were, that are, are doing brilliant work. They're all growing very quickly. But you've got a, a sort of level, there's maybe two levels. There's sort of the 100 million um, sort of up-and-coming players that are, are challenging the ones further up the top. And then you've got the smaller, more nimble guys that are sort of coming up from, from the bottom. They haven't got that legacy um, technology behind them. They're sort of looking at new technology areas. They're big in cloud, obviously, and uh, AI and all these, all these different areas that, you know, you, you hear about all the time. So they're very nimble. They're able to move very quickly. Um, they're also acquisition targets for the bigger guys. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah, uh, AI is massive, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, it's everywhere. It so is, it was, yeah. it was digital transformation. Then yes. it was GDPR, yeah. and now it's AI, AI bots, and machine learning. Yes. Uh, yeah, we're definitely getting into it. So uh, that's fantastic. Great insights there. So in the next episode, what we're going to talk about is actually Sarah has written a book. Let's hear about it.